be a player here, you've got to be in the billion dollar space. Um, I mean, this is a, a nu nuclear arms race uh, in spending out there. I mean, everybody I know in Hollywood is just thrilled. It's like a golden age. If you're a director, a writer, a star, I mean, suddenly, frankly, even a journalist and me, the bottom of the food chain, the money is suddenly showing up out there like it hasn't in a long time. Um, but let's face it, these costs are driving up. There is only so much talent. There's only so much intellectual property available. The bidding is going up. The prices are getting higher. This has got to come out of somewhere, and I think it's going to be the margins for these companies. I'm ecstatic about the possibilities for great content. Obviously, something like Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad makes me very happy, but I remember when there were like five networks, the big three plus a couple, a couple I don't remember. I don't know, what was it, the CW or something? And, yeah. and our own, NBC's network, we were mired in last place. We'd throw up stuff against the wall and nothing stuck, James. Someone is going to find <laughs> out how hard it is to do this. And I'm just wondering who, who it's going to be at this point. Uh, someone's, well, got, someone's not going to be good at this, aren't they? Or? Well, you know, that's a, that's a really interesting question because, I mean, frankly, I've been kind of amazed that Netflix and Amazon basically moved into this entertainment space from, and they did it from scratch. They didn't go out and buy a big studio. Uh, they put together a team and, you know, they've been remarkably successful at coming up both with things that people want to watch that's critically acclaimed. They have a wide variety and they've got the budgets, frankly, that they can throw a lot of stuff up there and the stuff that, you know, doesn't stick, they just get rid of it and they, they move on. I mean, remember in the old network model, there was only room for a finite number of shows on that network. And so you had to pick your, the shots very, very carefully. And if there was a high failure rate, that was extremely costly. But with these giant budgets and the unlimited space available in streaming, you can just throw up any number of shows and see what happens. You can, like, take a shot at something that seems very niche. And who knows? Maybe it'll catch on and be the, be the next Game of Thrones. What?